It is now my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Linda Resnick. Linda and her husband, Stuart, are good friends of the College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences. Together, they are co-chairman of Roll International, which, among other activities, is the largest grower of the Tango Mandarin, the most recent of UCR's trademarked citrus varieties. Of the two Resnicks, Linda is acknowledged as the marketing genius. She founded a full-service uh, advertising agency at the age of 19. Now, I won't tell you what I was about at age 19. This gave her invaluable marketing experience, which has stood her in good stead throughout her career. She is the creator and owner of some of the most recognizable uh, brands in the country. Palm Wonderful, Fiji Water, Wonderful Pistachios, and Teleflora. In 1979, the Resnicks purchased Teleflora, which was a struggling uh, flower wire service. Linda came up with the idea of pairing fresh flowers with a keepsake container and called it, quote, flowers and a gift. Today, Teleflora is the largest floral service and floral products company in the United States. In the 1980s, Linda and Stewart bought a citrus growing and processing operation. Today, they are the largest growers of tree crops in the world, including almonds, pistachios, pomegranates, and citrus brand clementines, uh, all grown in the Central Valley. In 03, Linda launched Palm Wonderful, and today consumers everywhere know about the health benefits of pomegranate juice. She now bears the title of, quote, Palm Queen. Linda's career has truly been an amazing success story, and I know that she will have some words of wisdom for you as you begin your own career. Linda Resnick. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Dean Baldwin, Chancellor White, Provost Rabenstein, College of Natural and Agricultural Science faculty, honored guests, and the fabulous 2010 graduating class of UC Riverside. Thank you all for the opportunity to address you on this day of your graduation. I assure you, it is a profound honor for me to be here. Now, I only have seven minutes to speak, and I tried to think of what I could convey in such a short period of time. I thought of texting all of you. Instead, when I looked at my phone, it said, dude, 951 rules. So there you have it. So if I may, I'd like to quickly share the seven most important life lessons I've learned, insights that have helped me face life's endless challenges, find happiness, success, and the right exit off of the 215. Number one, life's not fair. Now, you may have already figured that out, but if you haven't, I assure you, you will. Learn to expect less from life and more from yourself. Accept the changes that life throws at you. Remember, your destiny is pretty much in your hands, and as your mother told you, keep them clean. Number two. You will learn more from your failures than your successes. So embrace those mistakes, as difficult as that sounds, and grow from them. When a project is successful, you're never really sure why, because so many elements come into play. But when you fail, you know why. That is how you learn and grow. And remember, if and when you fail, you'll be in very good company. Number three, never be afraid to ask when you don't understand something. It sounds like a little thing, but awful things have happened. International incidents have flared, planes have crashed, markets have collapsed, just because people couldn't make sense of what was being said. They didn't ask why, because they thought it would make them look stupid. But it's biblical. Look how long Moses was in the desert because he wouldn't ask for directions. If you don't understand, chances are a lot of other people 
Don't understand either, so ask. Others will thank you, but don't trust MapQuest. <laughs> Number four, faith helps. Your life will have ups and downs, everyone's does. Great things will happen, and things will happen that, well, they suck. There's no way to escape that, but faith in yourself, in your God, and in mankind will light the way. It will support you in the lows and keep you humble in the highs. Number five, choose bliss. When you wake up each morning, you can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad, unless some terrible catastrophe has occurred the night before. It's pretty much up to you. Tomorrow morning, when that light creeps through your window, choose to make it a happy day. Or as my college freshman granddaughter, I always tell her, hey, fake it. By noon, you'll be it. Number six, give back. One of the things that brings me the greatest joy in life is giving back to my family, the community, and the earth. You want the planet to be better off for having you in it. It's a sustainable idea, one that creates a circle of giving from you to others and back to you. So give back and by all means, save the receipts. Number seven, lifelong learning. Today you've done an amazing thing by getting your degree. I hope this is only the beginning of your journey toward knowledge and enlightenment. Be a student of life. Go to seminars, listen to speakers, search the web for new ways of thinking. Our society is constantly changing. Be a participant, an educated advocate for the goals that you see for society. The more you understand what's going on around you, the more effective you will be as a citizen, not just of Riverside County, but of the world. Education is the key to your success as an individual. You're entering the workforce at one of the most challenging times in our nation's history. That's the life's not fair thing I mentioned earlier. However, if you're educated in the truth behind the hype of media, the fickleness of Wall Street, and the partisanship of political rantings, you will be able to decide for yourself what is right, what is true, and what is important to you. In closing, please look at the state of our planet not as a burden, but as an opportunity. It's simply amazing that by some biological randomness, we ended up being born here or came here from some distant land. And if that isn't a reason to rejoice, I don't know what is. During the darkest times in history, there were always though those who found a way to turn straw into gold or invent a disruptive technology that changed the way people thought and acted. I hope each and every one of you will be one of those special people. I wish you every success in your future and don't forget, stay smart, give back and choose bliss. Thank you.